a rod. This is one of my favorite things to teach actually. Why? Because it's a classic, classic concept based question. It's like everything looks right, but there is a catch. Hmm? A rod of mass M is suspended through two light strings tied around it. Suspended. Hmm? Calculate the tension on the remaining string just after one of them is cut. Actually, you have you could actually recite the answer out loud immediately. Cut this one. Immediately after you cut, what's the tension? On the left one. Hmm? Can you just shout out the answer? Come on. Mg by 4. Remember hinge. Now watch. Let me call this point as A. Let me call this point as C. Right? Mg. Let's say the tension just after it's cut is T. Hmm? Can you please tell me what is the accelerations and uh, the symbols? Sir, very simple. There is an acceleration A, sir. And there is an alpha. Is this alpha about center of mass? No, alpha is the same about every point. Okay. So what's the linear uh, translational equation? Linear translational equation is fairly simple. Sir, that is nothing but uh, mg minus t is equal to ma, sir. You sure? mg minus t, yeah. mg minus t equal to ma, yeah. Perfect. What is the relationship between a and uh, l? Sir, a equal to alpha r. Are, what is r? And why? Reason, reason, reason. Now, the reason is as follows. What is the acceleration of this point? Sir, every point's acceleration is a, a, and a. Good. Because of alpha, sir, this guy has alpha L by 2 and this guy has L by 2 down. Good. But this guy is attached to the string. What is the acceleration along the string? 0. Why? Because string is tied up. So, acceleration along the string is 0. Since Acceleration along the string is zero. That implies A is equal to alpha L by 2. How is that? Sure? Good. So, sir, mg minus t equal to ma. Good. Now take the torque equation. Sir, about what point? You tell me. About A point or center? Hmm. Let's see, sir. So let me take about a point. All right, take sir torque a i alpha. Yeah. Sir, uh, about a sir torque will be mg l by two. Mg l by two. Yeah. And sir, the inertia is ml square by three alpha. Ml square by three is the inertia. Yeah, that's correct. So what is the alpha? Sir, alpha comes out to be uh, sir three g by two l. Okay. Fine, sir. Sir, if I take talk about center ma mass then, let's see. About center it is TL by 2. Why? Because MG is passing through center. Equal to ML square by 12 alpha, sir. Or, sir, T equal to M alpha L by 6. And, sir, if I solve it, let's see. You want to solve? Let's solve. Alpha equal to 3G by 2L. Solve with alpha equal to 3g by 2l or this equation. You will get tension equal to mg by 4. Solve about center equation. You will get tension as mg by 4. My question is, which is correct? Which is correct? Should I take torque about A or should I take torque about C? Hmm. Good question. Sir, if it's it's a pure rotation motion, take about hinge. If it's combined rotation and translation, take about center of mass. So, okay. What kind of motion will the rod do just after I snap the string? Right one. Mm, it will go down like a pendulum. Good question. The answer is, right now, right now, both are correct. Why? Because A is behaving like an instantaneous hinge. 
In fact, there is a special, special name for it. A is right now. I A O R. Instantaneous axis of rotation means the rod is not actually hinged, but it is behaving as hinge right now at point A. So the axis which behaves as a hinge for a free body such that the motion can be understood like a hinged motion for now is called instantaneous axis of rotation for that system. Acceleration of point A is zero. It's at rest right now and it will be at rest till the rod becomes vertical. So right now the answer is mg by 4 upon both of them. You can solve it guys. If you want, you can. If you don't trust me, you can solve it. A equal to alpha L by 2, same. That doesn't change. Bacha kon? mg minus t equal to ma. 1 gives you alpha equal to 3g by 2l. 1 gives you tension equal to ml file by 6. Okay, chalo, I'll solve it for you. Tension equal to ml file by 6 means t equal to 3ma. m alpha l is 2a. ma by 3. Sorry, ma by 3. Add it. mg is equal to what? mg minus t. If you add it, mg minus t and that will be, become equal to 4ma by 3. So, A becomes equal to what? 3G by 4. See? If A is 3G by 4, put it back. M by 3 into 3G by 4, 3, 3 cancel MG by 4. Satisfied? Happy? Trust me. You will get the same answer about both equations. Which equation? About center and about A. And both are correct. Why? Because center, the center is the king. But why A? Because A right now is instantaneous axis of rotation.